All right, we are going to try out the microphone again. We have 4-4 four, four for Brandon uh, Slazalis against Bean Hung. If you are just joining us, uh, we are at Bluegrass Billiards, the first event for Pro Am Pool. PA Pro Am Pool. It's a 10 ball event, call shot, call safe. Winner side goes race to seven, B side race to six. Thank you for tuning in with us. This is a very nail biter of a match. Debating whether to go for a safe or actually go for the bank here. Very undecided. If you haven't come out to Bluegrass, definitely need to stop by. Gay Pro Am Pool is going to be running another event uh, in February. Keep your eyes open for that. It's going to be an eight ball event. This event was sponsored. We have a few different sponsors. One of them is Integrity Key. Donated uh, all of the, the balls for this event. They are the Dinosphere Silver. Please let me know if the volume and everything sounds okay. We've been trying to finagle with this on and on throughout the day. Oh, it looked like he, I couldn't tell he could see that in the sky. So since it is call shots, call safety as an option, give it back, go for it. Taking very great safety. Have to remember, I'm on a slight delay on this. So I can't give you guys away what is actually happening in real time. But if you want to come by in real time, stop on down. Plenty of drinks and food and seats. Great matches are coming. In Brandon, trying to get the angle. The very strong players, so the one mistake rack could be over. I've seen this a few times. I think she started off uh, this up 3 0. Uh, Brandon closed the gate a bit. Back to make. Here we are. Four. They're putting up a battle. Nope. Oh, does have his jump out. Trying to figure out how to get that. Off the.
watching me play throughout the day. Be able to get back on the out in it. That was your plan. Bumps is probably going to down on me. Not at all. I don't. Brandon picking game this back. Match is going on now. Caroline Powell is playing. Let's see if I can better have her. Caroline Powell is playing uh, Mike Krizuk. 5 2 currently, I believe. 6. Screen, it looks like she's. Touching on how she was counting the rails, I I think this view for us is slightly de deceiving. It's going to have to kick it. Or she's just planning a good way to save this ball again. There it is. Pulled out a little bit further than what she thought. This this rack is definitely a best game for both their creativity and coming up with to get on the ball, but also not how to sell out either. Oh well, yeah. Give being to really command the table and come back. It's a nice knowledge. How they're going to force follow this up. Not feeling super comfortable. Like that, that could do.
all it takes one doesn't work like that could be Handed that seven ball perfectly, got straight on the ten, and that rack is done. Currently five four B A in a ring seven. So again, we are at Bluegrass Billiards. This PA Pro Am ten ball toward first of the year. Again, you will be having a eight ball tournament coming up in February. Keep your eyes peeled for that. I think I heard there's also going to be pool event coming in the near future. A nine ball event and a win. Anything happening in the area. If you haven't been to grass, very spacious, great food. Brandon is taking a slight break here. Be such a strong player if you uh, have a chance to actually go and watch the and and was out there played really good, very strong player. Always a pleasure watching her. Such uh, confidence in every stroke. Somebody always used to tell me of don't. Won't ask a ball permission, but command it. And I think if anybody is a perfect example of that, the way the way Bean shoots is definitely she commands every ball. Thank you, Steve. We are going to look into that. Steve, does that mean you can't hear it, or does it just cut in and out? Hey. All right, sorry. Okay, what to talk about. So I want to give a few thank yous to our sponsors. Kevin Steer with Integrity Cues. What? Oh, My name is oh Frank look at that. Lyon. So yes, I am the owner PA Pro-Am Pro Pool. PA Pro-Am Pool. We offer exciting Pro-Am Pool tournaments that are ran with honesty, integrity, and transparency to all of our professional and aspiring amateur players. Check us out on Facebook. Search PA Pro-Am Pool. We've aligned ourselves with some of the best sponsors in the business. Integrity Cues is owned and operated by one of my lifelong friends, Kevin Steer. Kevin has built his business on fair and honest deals throughout the pool community. Check out IntegrityCues.com for all your Q case and accessory needs. Bluegrass Billiards is our venue, located at 9490 Bluegrass Road, Philadelphia, PA. They are open all year round and have 50 pool tables as well as a wide variety of food and a full service bar. They host the largest tournaments and leagues in the area. Action and road players are always welcome. Our Stream and Second Chance Tournament sponsor is the Player's Choice, operated by Lou Gagliano. Lou offers premier quality service for all your pool table needs and has been leveling and refelting tables for over 30 years. He is one of the best guys in the business. Give him a call at 
Aha. <laughs> All right, guys. I've been talking to myself for quite a while now. Well, <laughs> please let me know if there's any issues with the mic. Thank you guys for letting us know. Uh, we won't know unless you tell us. Ralphie, thank you for your comment. I would not have known I was not on if it wasn't for you. Thank you for the heads up. So I was just going down some of the matches that are going on around the room. So if you are nearby or want to come, there's still plenty of matches to be held and some good ones at that. Mike Prasutsky is playing Christian Ork. He is leading 1-0 currently. Tommy got the first break. Let's see. Donald Villacaston is playing Roger Halder. That's 3-2 currently with Donald leading the way. Russian Kenny is going to be playing Brandon Slazalis. And let's see. What else did I hear? Oh, that's right. And Mike Miller is playing Sean Gutsky. Is currently 3-3. Three, three. That's a little quick update on some of the matches that are going on. I'm also uh -oh. oh, yes, Steve. I did answer your question. <laughs> Um, I do, this is not a top, a tight pocket table. Uh, a lot of the other tables in the front of bluegrass are tight. They're more like four and a quarter. This one is not four and a quarter. It's slightly bigger than some of the other tables. The exact measurements I am not sure of. And yes, Rafi, this is Alyssa. <laughs> oh, man, I thought they actually, I did not realize that was Tommy just practicing. Okay, the match is... About to begin. Looks like Tommy got the lag. So he is going to be breaking first. Any issues with the mic or the sound, please let me know. Once again, we are at Bluegrass Billiards. This is PA Pro Am Pool. You can find them on Facebook if you just search PA Pro Am Pool. A lot of tournaments are coming up in the future. Uh, there's going to be a eight ball event happening in February. Uh, there's a ladies event coming, I think, in March. And then I also heard there's going to be a straight pool event. All of this should be happening at Bluegrass, if I'm not mistaken. Bluegrass Billiards in Northeast Philly. Big room, lots of tables, good equipment, good food and drinks. Something for everyone here. Ping pong tables and whatnot as well. All right. Tommy with the first break. Solid made a two. Um, two on the break. Has a clear shot on the one. Should be able to... Back cut this into the corner there. I think the only issue is going to be giving himself a shot on that two ball. Because I don't think he can hold it on that end of the table. You don't know who Brandon is? You don't know who? Brandon? He just played here. Probably getting fresh air. Right? Yes. All right. I missed what happened, but looks like it was a good safe.
So the payouts for this event are definitely up there. I think if I did, if I calculated everything correctly, first place should walk with forty five hundred uh, for first place. Let's see, so forty five hundred would be first place if they had themselves in the Calcutta. Calcutta, even down to third. Third place for Calcutta is going to get 900. Must have run a great Calcutta this morning. There was, I believe I saw 54 players for this event. Ami is going to play safe on this one. Tuck it right behind the seven, most likely. Oh, sorry, the six ball. Yes, he did get there, but he didn't, He, I think he was trying to freeze up on the six, so that way it took out an easy one rail kick, which does give Billy a shot to at least hit the ball. He's going to have to kick safe here. What he's, I think, trying to eye up is where exactly can he kick it to without giving a handout for Tommy. Oh, we're going to see. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that was definitely not on the game plan. Scratched in the corner. Now what he did do on that shot that did help him is he kind of tied up the four ball on the nine. Uh, not sure Tommy has an easy way of getting that out or if he knows a way of cutting it in without bumping the nine. Doesn't look that way to me. It is a full house here, everyone. Lots of people here, lots of pool going on. If you're in the area, definitely come by and hang out and come say hi to us. Mike Miller is now leading, leading against Sean Bogutsky, 4-3. These matches are so close, each one. As the day gets on, these matches are closer and closer. All right, Tommy taking advantage of ball in hand. I think he's probably going to try to break out that four a little bit. Just enough of a nudge so that way he can still see the three in the corner. Right. is just t definitely taking his time to think about how exactly he wants to play this. He did officially call the two in the side. Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> he kind of traded which ball the four was tied up on. <laughs> Instead of the nine, it's now the ten ball. Planning how exactly he wants to go about this. If he makes the three, he could probably stop that cue ball right behind the ten. 
get the floor up on the corner. I mean, on the short rail. So we either iron up that. The floor is frozen on the 10, by the way. So that does not go in the side. I, it, I mean, it, the 10 could go, the 10 could go in the side with a combo. But I think that just might be a little bit too risky. I think he's opting to go for a safe. Called safe. So we didn't get an angle to, I think, stop the stop the cue ball right behind the 10. So he'll probably bounce off the long rail and get the cue ball on the short rail and hopefully send the four either back behind the seven or just up on the opposite short rail. I think now he just, <laughs> I think now he looked at that 10 ball combo. Not the best time to look at it right now, but all right, let's see. All right, that'll do. Billy can see it. I think I think his only shot might be I mean, clearly yes, he can definitely save this. Uh He's feeling, he's feeling fancy. Could bank it, but that's definitely a sellout option. I think you can see it. Even when the table's in front of you, it's still hard to tell sometimes. Well, he could see it. Uh, got a little double, double hit. So, cue ball did not react the way he would have liked. Tommy has a nice thin cut here, putting the four in the left corner pocket. A little bit of outside spin. Oh, thought the seven. Thought the seven was the six for a minute. All right. So with these dinosphere, this these dinosphere balls, the six ball is gray. Reminder for myself as well. It's not hoping that nine to hop in the way like it did. Fortunately. It's it isn't in a place that's unmakeable. It's just a question of if he actually wants to go for it or if he wants to play as safe. As we get low, uh, further into the night, players are uh, trying to be very careful with what they do. Each player is so strong. One mistake, and uh, you're giving up a rack. Just a reminder, this is a call shot, call safe 10 ball event. So if they call a ball in pocket and miss and leave it in a not great place, the incoming player has a choice of either giving it back or shooting it. I believe he was going, was trying to make that nine. Not, not a terrible place to leave the cue ball. 
I don't think he would want that cue ball to be there if he was shooting it. So maybe that was his plan the whole time. I did not see him call safe. But I could have missed that. So. Ah, yes, Rafi, I have heard that. <laughs> I did hear Billy call the six in the corner. It's probably going to try to kind of bounce it off the short rail. I don't think it goes clean, so he might try to bounce it off the short rail, tear him off the nine. When the cue ball is frozen on the, on the rail like this, definitely makes it hard to hit exactly where you want and then also control the cue ball. Great hit. And he got a nudge on the seven and an unfortunate leave on that seven. Most likely going to play a safe here. Yeah, he's not going to go for this. Oh, yeah, Raph, uh, Raph. I think last time they had a different... Also, I think last time they had a different set of Dinosphere, dinosphere balls. I think last time was bronze. I think for this event, uh, Kevin Steer with Integrity Cues donated... Donated uh, all, of the, all of the balls for each table, and I think they are the silver. So... These might react a little bit different than the ones you encountered at the previous tournament. I think these are the balls that the uh, PA Pro-Am pool is going to be using for future events as well. But I do think these are a different set than what you had at the last one. <laughs> All right, Tommy on the seven ball. Not a bad uh, safe. Tommy's going to opt for a safe as well. Nope, tuck that seven right by the eight. It did a bounce out. Uh, I mean, I do think Billy will have an opportunity to take advantage of this. And he opted for a safe, and he bounced out a bit further than he was expecting as well. Tommy having a choice here. Choice of safing back or actually going for the shot and trying to get up on the board. Tricky spot to be, and the cue ball is going to go flying around if he does go for this, but it will also leave natural position, I think, for the eight. Of course, if he has a good safe up his sleeve, his 10 ball call shot, call safe events definitely make you double think about what you're going for. Oh, Ralphie, also, uh, they have Dinosphere balls that they are selling, too. So if you want to get some practice on them, you can reach out to uh, Frank Mileti. And he will be more than happy to help hook you up with those so that way you can get a feel of them.
Oh. Okay. I thought I thought he could see, I thought I thought that cue ball bounced out enough for him to see that seven clearly, but it did not. Tommy had to kick it and unfortunately just missed it by a hair. Billy having a solid opportunity of getting ball in hand on the seven. This should definitely hopefully nothing quirky comes up. Oh, speaking of quirky, uh, just just died at the wrong place there. I mean, this was supposed to be his rack. The question is, is he gonna is he gonna bank this or is he gonna safe it? He could just push it to the rail and be a pretty decent safe, I would think. But I mean, it's probably amateur safe compared to what these guys do. All right, the eight ball event is February 25th, by the way. So if you want, you can mark that in your calendars. I think he's going to start taking signups for it on Monday. You can reach out to Frank Mileti. How we. Oh, ho, looks like he's lining up for it. He did. And hook, line, and sinker. That was a great bank. Bit offensive. And it died again on him, leaving him another choice of bank or save. And he did that last bank so, so perfectly, really. The only unfortunate part was the leave. Just seems like it is uh, dying off a little bit sooner than he expects the past two shots. Maybe still just trying to get a feel for the table, I think. I think this is the second time of him being on the stream today. So he has been on this table. Well, you know, Ralphie, you can always play here. <laughs> You have a pool hall here, uh, but if you want to play with those balls and get used to them, like I said, you can purchase them and have at it. All right. Billy taking the first game. Beating 1-0. I must have looked away at the wrong time because I totally missed his bank too. All right. While they finish up, let me see if I can update you guys on any other matches going on here. Let's see, let's see. All right, Mike Miller. Oh, where are we here? Mike Miller won against Sean Bogutsky, seven to three. Wow. Wow. Now you know why I'm saying, wow, I keep forgetting there's a slight bit of a delay, so I'm going to try my best not to do any spoiler alerts for you guys. What a solid break. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see the cue ball go in. How unfortunate. That was nice. A nice spread, too.
Right, Jimmy Rivera, uh, Rivera is going to be playing Being Hung, who you saw previously play Brandon Sazalas. They are going to be starting their match shortly. This is happening. Russian Kenny is playing Brandon Sazalas. That's going on, but they I don't think they're updating their scores online, so... Unfortunately, I cannot tell you where that match is at. Mike Krasuski is playing Christian Ork. It is currently 3-2 with Mike P leading the way. Roger Calder and Donald Philicaston. Donald is leading 4-3. I think that is all the matches that are currently happening. You can always stop on by, watch for yourself. Root for your favorite players. All right, getting back, getting back to this three ball, that 10 makes a, a very small window for Tommy to actually get to. And he's reaching, reaching. Slightly having the nine ball in the way, too. All right, side. <laughs> Once again, we are just lacking a tiny bit of juice. I think we are behind the nine here. Could see it. I think he can see just enough of it. Question is, is, can he make it? I don't think if he can, depends on how much of this three ball he can see. Because if anything, that's going to overcut, and then it makes more sense to play safe. Oh. Opted for the safe route just because he could only see a sliver of that three ball. Kind of hoping for a different outcome. Billy is going to do here. Yep, he's checking to see if that 3-5 goes. There is some space between them, so it's not completely wired. There is room for error. Uh, that might be another opportunity to get, get some strokes in, get a feel of the speed of the table again. Possibly run out if he can take care of this. Nice play. And perfect, perfect position on that. Three, four, I mean, the four to the six, definitely not impossible. Just has to figure out how to get around that seven, unless he bumps it, so it makes the seven an easier ball to pocket later, while also getting on the six. Does look like he gave himself a position to bump that seven closer to the corner pocket. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to bump the seven. I was mistaken. So. The six does look very close to the rail. I don't think it's frozen on the rail. But it could pretty much be frozen <laughs> with how close it is right now. He's just going to use, I think, low left. Try to get up on the other side of the seven. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Yep, that was not planned. Uh, time ball got in the way for him there. 
Once again, I think it's a, a speed adjustment for both of these players. The cue ball just seems to be seems to be uh, not ending where they are planning it to end. And it just kind of slows down a bit early for them, which is then leaving them these difficult positions to get out of. It's calling safe. Oh, no, not. Oh, oh. I thought it was going to be actually a really good save. Uh, definitely gave Tommy an opportunity. See no issues with Tommy finishing out this rack. Once again, just a slight speed adjustment here. Oh, it's a little bit of a nice. He just followed a little bit further. He could draw that nine clear back and have perfect angle on the 10. Not sure. He might still be able to do that. Just some room for error here on position. Okay. All right. A little bit different than I thought. Still... This is a bit of a, to me, a scary shot. Didn't see him call it. It's in the corner. Beautiful. Wow. Great shot, Tommy. Currently 1-1. One, one. Race to six. This is the B side. B side goes to six. A side is going to go to seven. Oh, man. Looks like Mike Miller is in, uh, is in the hot seat. We're waiting to play the hot seat match. I think he's waiting to play the hot seat match. So Mike Miller is up there. The bracket is on EA Pro Am Pool, their Facebook page, if you want to follow along. Right. Yes, Pam, I agree. That was a phenomenal, that was a phenomenal 10 ball shot. Executed perfectly. Pretty decent spread for Billy. So, either under rotating the ball or over rotating. Kind of got on the wrong side of that, too, just to make it a tad bit difficult, especially to hold position on the three. He did it successfully, though. They make it look easier than it is. To get on that five ball, threw it back a few inches, and he has the positioning to go from the five to the six. Oh. 
Oh, how did I miss? Ah, oh, keep forgetting. Keep forgetting that. Pink ball is four. <laughs> that was my mistake. But he shot the four. Got pretty much right around the same area he was at for the four. Give himself an angle to get to the six. Bumps the nine. Oh, jeez. Well, oh, he's grabbing the extension for this. I think he can. He can definitely make. I don't think he has a clear hit on the six, but he can go real first. Bounce around for the seven. All right, Brandon Sazal is still in it. One against Russian Kenny, 6 0. All right, so looks like we have another speed issue for the seven ball. I think he's going to be banking it opposite corner. Ooh. Well, that is going to be Tommy's choice. Tommy is definitely going to take it. This should be a easy cleanup for Tommy. Don't really see any issues happening here. Oh, but there's always surprises. To tell by his reaction, that's not exactly what he wanted, but he can still get out of this. Hi, Tariq. Thanks for tuning in. The most important shot of the wreck. Nailed it. Tommy is up two one. All right, Billy leading the break. This is an alternate break format. Once again, this is the B side. It's a race to six. Wow. Wow, the way that cue ball stopped in the middle of the table. And it was like zooming back too, and the way it just stopped dead. That was pretty impressive. I need him to teach me that. Nice spread too. He has a shot on the one. Just kind of has to reach over this two ball a little bit. For him, he's a bit taller, so at least he can reach it. He did make it. I don't think the two in the side is... Yeah, he's not too happy with this. <laughs> uh, 
Not sure what he wants to do. Two in the side does go, uh, but when you look at the table in real life, it's a bit... Just not as nice as what it might seem on the screen. Billy must have had weed use this morning, because that break was just... I want to see that on repeat. <laughs> The way that cue ball reacted was uh, it's very, very impressive. Looks like he's going in the corner. Oh, well, definitely is not the first nor the last player that's going to happen to today. Seen that a few times. I thought it was going just rattled. Uh, giving Tommy a chance here. Three balls on the same end as the two, so that's not an issue. Let's give himself a little angle to come back for the four, which once again is pink. My reminder. But getting from that, everything seems pretty clear cut. It should be. He wants to give himself an angle, but also not too much, because then he's going to get behind the 10. So, speed. Speed is important here. Which has been funny for each player to really get a grasp on is the correct speed uh, for either the balls or this table, whatever it is. I think both of them are still either adjusting or I don't think they were sitting for too long, so. I, I am slightly confused about this. I think he did mention to Billy that, uh, I think he did Oh, I think he did call that, so it is Billy's choice, uh, which Billy just did call safe. The winner of that is Carl Morgan, so that should be pretty quick. <laughs> I believe we've been over an hour. All right, Rogers matches 5-5 five, five currently. That's a race to six. Uh, Roger against Donald Villa Caston. So, should have a, uh, oh my goodness. have an update on that match. The winner of that is going to be playing Carl Morgan next. All right, Tommy with his jump cue. Going for the two here. Now that was a very interesting two ball he had last time. Hopefully he can uh, make up for it here. Oh my. Wow. He did put draw on it, and it just kind of stunned it over to the long rail and pushed it back. Kind of unfortunate for such a good... That was a great jump shot. Uh, just wanted it to react a tad bit differently. So he either has a safe here or a bank. Long bank. I'm going to guess, yeah, he's definitely going safe.
Well, he did, did go for a safe. Uh, Emily didn't react the way sketched out. Billy can hit this and go two rails, get up to the four. Oh, jeez. Wow, maybe it's that pocket. I'm just kidding, that pocket is fine. But it does seem like both of them did not, uh, maybe it didn't take the time to really aim for that pocket because both of them did the same thing, rattled it. Tommy with a save here. He's trying to map out exactly where he wants to go. Hopefully the speed will work in his favor. Oh, because Billy was going for that, so it was Tommy's option. So he chose to give it back to Billy. Now Billy has to decide how exactly he wants to do this. He's almost looking to see. I don't think he was, I think he's going for it, so definitely playing the safe. That was a nice roll, but oh, he, got, he gave Tommy the window. So Tommy can see it. Uh, Tommy did call a save. I think Tommy can see it. Yes, Ralphie, it's call shot, call safe. So what this means, if they call the ball in the pocket and they miss and it does, the incoming player has an option to either play it where it lies or give it back to the opponent. Call shot, call safe, 10 ball. Does put an interesting spin on this game. That's why you see a lot, a lot of the players really thinking and really thinking about deciding: Do I want really want to go for this shot, or do I want to go for a safe? So you really have to make up your mind on one or the other, uh, because chances are there's no two-way shots in tem in this game. This game, two-way shots don't exist. <laughs> if you miss and you leave them bad, you're going to be shooting it again. All right, Billy with ball in hand. Oh, geez. So, I mean, it's not definitely not bad. He just overshot it a bit. So, like I said, still trying to get the correct speed for both players. Either overdoing it or underdoing it. So they are adjusting because both were struggling with under. Not getting it far enough. Now you can tell they're compensating a bit. No, Rafi, the nine ball tournament was, I believe, just called nine ball, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is this is usually a ten ball rule of call shot, call safe, uh, and it's always specified. A lot of tournaments will do just call shot for ten ball. Uh, so that way it's faster. Um, but call shot, call safe was, and to my understanding, specifically for 10 ball.
All right, this should be should be it for Billy. Yes, Ralphie, there is no no slop, no two way, no no luck. There is no way, shape, or form of luck in this. You're either going for a safe or you're going for the shot. All right, so with that, Billy closed the gap, made it 2-2. Tommy's break. Oh, did I lose the cue ball or did he lose the cue ball? Oh, no. I did not see it slink in there. Definitely not something you want to do, especially with these calibers of players this late. Only the high players are here now. And it looks like a pretty good spread, so Billy has every opportunity to actually run all of these out. Just needs to get a handle on the speed and and look. Oh, good. Nice. I think he's I think he's getting he's adjusting to the speed now. Looks like. All right, so let's see who Carl is going to be playing. He threw that back nicely. I think he just wanted a bit more of an angle for this or probably didn't want to draw it back that much so that way he could shoot the three into the corner with the seven and the nine. Debating on what exactly he wants to do with this. Oh, wow. I think last time I checked, I thought Donald Philocaston was leading against Roger, but it's like Roger snuck it out on the hill. Oh, no, it was tied hill hill last time. So Roger did take that win. So Roger Halder is going to be playing Carl Morgan next. All right, let's see what he decides. Oh, this is... So it's a tricky spot to be in, I think. I'm not sure what he called. I know he said something to Tommy, but I think he's going to go for it. Just kidding. That was a oh, very nice save. Tuck the cue right behind the eight ball. Left the three on the long rail. I don't think Tommy can really cleanly kick it because of that four ball in the way. He might have to put some outside spin and angle it a bit differently. Well, he didn't get it on the way in, but he got it on the way out. And I'm not sure if he called it. This could, this might be Billy's choice if he wants it or not. 
Not very sure. He might have called soon. It's a little bit hard to predict what these guys are going to do. <laughs> Especially with the call shot, call safe rule. Oh, jeez. Oh. Even more painful watching it a second time. Just slightly overcut it. He did get back around for the four. Since it is call shot, call safe, uh, Tommy chose not to play it. He's giving it back to Billy. Billy grabbed his jump cue. I think he called it in the corner. Did get a good hit. Is the roll going to happen? All right. Tommy does have a shot. Once again, Tommy has a choice of either going for this or giving it back. I definitely don't see him giving it back. I don't think he's going to go for it either. So he is going to most likely play a safe here. Oh, I do. All right, let's see what he's going to... Huh, I mean... I am not the best person to figure out things. My saves usually don't work out as I plan, but he might be trying to hide the cue ball behind the four and bounce the three out on the other short rail. Reverse that. Okay. Not a bad plan. I don't think Billy oh, Billy grabbed his drumstick, but I don't I don't see this I don't see that being a good a good jump. I don't see how he could unless he's planning on going rail first. Maybe maybe he can see the three. Ah oh, wow. Wow. That, uh, that was pretty unfortunate. That was such a good hit. To jump and then go real first, and it hit the nine nicely. It just, it, it did not hit the magic spot. So, Tommy coming in. I think the table looks pretty, pretty clear for him. Uh, not the easiest thing, but... We've definitely seen more tied up. Yeah, that would have been an option. I think these players also don't want to... Their three foul is in no effect. So... Uh, Giving up ball in hand uh, might not be something they're super comfortable with, uh, especially with how how some of these were. It's like they're not super clustered, but there's some opportunities to do some easy safes in here, I think. Right, that was a unfortunate miss for Tommy. Tommy grabbing his jumpstick because Billy gave it back to him.
did get a nice a nice hit. Just kind of bounced around the pocket. And once again, kind of tucked the ball. And uh, <laughs> Billy is giving it back once again to Tommy. Yes, Ralph, I completely agree. Uh, it's always fun to see how people resolve uh, or how they do their runouts or what they see on the table. Probably one of my favorite things about pool is to see how everybody does it. <laughs> Hi, Joy. I know, I know. Maybe I should. <laughs> he needs a, a, a wake up call or something. All right. He did make, he did make that, uh, was, was it the four ball? Might have been the three ball. Comes back for the six. He's probably just going to follow this up a bit so he can get on that seven nine combo. Oh, or get on the underside of it. Okay. Hi, Andy. We miss you. Oh, he got on that on that underside of the seven pretty nicely. Nice smooth stroke. Gets back for the eight. This should be, this, this might be, I don't want to do the commentator curse on him, so I'm just going to let him do what he does. Good speed on that. It does seem like the players are adjusting to the speed now that they have a few racks under their belts and a few wins under their belts, too. Seems like they are getting the hang of everything. And Tommy taking the lead back, 3-2. Just in case you guys are just tuning in, we are at Bluegrass Billiards. This is PA Pro-Am Pool. 10-ball tournament, call shot, call safe. Winner side, race to six. Uh, sorry, winner side, race to seven. B side is going to be race to six. There's going to be a lot more Philly tournaments coming up. February 25th, there's going to be an 8-ball tournament. Um, in March, there's a women's event, a women's nine ball event. And then if I'm not mistaken, there's another nine ball event coming up an open nine ball, open nine ball event. And I think I also heard there's going to be a straight pool event in the future. So if you haven't already, uh, you can go to PA pro, I'm sorry, PA pro am, PA pro am pool page on Facebook. So you can uh, be up to date on all the events happening.
Nice open table. Uh, this two ball, though, might be the hardest shot. If he can get a grip on this, the rest of it is going to be a pretty easy layout. And he did. Beautiful shot. Joy, there's going to be a women's nine ball event uh, here at Bluegrass, uh, March 25th. Should definitely come out to that. Billy really got a decent angle on this four just to go one, maybe two rails, bounce back out to center to get the five. Looks a tad bit straight on the screen. These heavy hitters, they draw a straight in shot so easily. I'm not sure if it's an issue or not for him, but it does look like he does have a slight bit of an angle. So he's looking at how it's going to bounce off. Joy, I've seen you play recently. Not really. Within the year. I know you still play. You can still handle your own. So you should come to March. So Billy just went one rail, bounced out to the center again to get on the six. Well, Joy, Tom, Tommy can't play in the women's event. <laughs> Now, that shot, I think he made it look way easier than it actually was, uh, in my opinion. He got the perfect speed to get just the right angle so he could get back on this nine ball. Just has to make sure he misses the pocket, the side pocket. Beautiful. Oh, yes. They are definitely, I think they are definitely getting into their grooves now. It's going to follow this up. So two, maybe three rails. Get on the 10, I think just two. Nice trip. Gets me right on it. Perfect speed. Opportunity to tie it up, 3-3 three, three right here. Important game. There it is. Another nail biter match. Three, three. Looks like Mike Slay is playing Mike P. I'm not actually, they might be just shooting around. I don't think. Uh, let me double check. No, they are playing. Mike Slay is playing Mike Krasuski. So that is happening as well. If you guys are in the area, you should definitely stop on by. Some very big matches, very good matches, great competition. Good food, drinks, and of course, company. Stop on by, say hi, hang out. There's plenty of chairs to go around. Tommy with the break. Oh, man. That nine ball just down, danced around that side pocket there. Teased us a bit. Uh, so, no ball did sink. So just an update, Mike Slay uh, is leading 1-0 against Mike Przewski. Carl Morgan is leading 1-0 against Roger Halder. 
Brandon is going to be waiting. Brandon Salas is going to be waiting just a bit. I think the winner of this match is going to be playing Tyler Henninger. And the winner of that will be playing Brandon Salas. Uh, I don't have an update on Bean's match currently because I don't think they're using the online scoring. Oh, what? Oh, almost forgot the lag again. Very nice save by Billy. Tucked it right behind the six. I know, I feel like he wanted to really freeze it on the six, but this works just as well. Uh, Tommy doesn't have a clean shot on the one, but since it's not frozen, I think he has more opportunity to use rails easier to get a good kick at it. He is uh, calling a save here. And look at the speed of this. That's how you can tell they're, they're kind of adjusting to the speed well now. That was the perfect speed for this. You know, if you hit it too hard, it's going to bounce it out into the open and then be a sellout shot. Do it at just the right speed, enough to hit a rail, and hopefully leave that cue ball even frozen on the one. But close is a good option, too. Brian trying to figure out how he wants to hit this. He's jacking up on it a bit. I think he's playing safe. And it got right behind the six. Uh, uh, Rafi, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. I think over there they might be playing a uh, one pocket. I'm not sure if I know them. I'm not sure if I'm thinking of the right table. So that was a great save by Philly and an effective save too. Tommy did scratch, leaving Billy ball in hand. All right, one to the two. I think the only kind of issue is going to be if he can get easily on that three ball because that eight does kind of leave a small window for him to get on. Gave himself a great angle for it. Speed is definitely going to come into play here. I think Billy has really got a grip of the speed. Oh, I don't foresee this being an issue for somebody of his caliber. Looks like he's opting to draw it straight back. Oh, no. Oh, can you see it? He can see it. He just can't make it, but he can see it. Oh, he's going to be calling a safe here. You can see him kind of smiling to himself about that for <laughs> overdrawing it. And not bad. I'm not, I don't know if that was exactly what he was planning, but it does work. Uh, but it kind of gives Tommy an, an opportunity to do an easy safe back.
So easy was probably the wrong word. <laughs> Uh, just trying to figure out exactly what he wants to do with this. Wow. That was... Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Stay up. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a shame. That was such a nice play. Oh. All right, I think Billy's trying to figure out if he wants to get him on a three foul. I think that's that might be Tommy's first first foul. If I'm not mistaken. That that did roll, and it's it's interesting because a lot of these other rolls seem to have died. Uh, stopped rolling prematurely, and that one, you're right, it just kept on going. Uh, I think the stroke has a lot to do with it. I think in the beginning they might have just been a little bit more apprehensive, and that, uh, does tend to get the cue ball to die early. So now if they're feeling good and they've been stroking a bit, uh... I think that's why I kind of reacted that way. It's a shame. That was, that was a good idea. All right. It doesn't look like Billy was trying to get him on the three foul just yet. Need a nice three ball cut. He has the four if he just draws it to the rail. Back out. It's the five. Now the five to the six. Five to the six here. It's going to be a power stroke. I know he likes to draw, so he's probably going to stun it over that way. Just as long as he misses the side. Oh, man. Oh, it will go a little bit further. But still works. I think Billy could, uh... I mean, could... Uh, on the screen, it does look like it can just... It can easily go in the corner, which it can... Question is, what's the cue ball going to do? If he puts a lot of inside on it, it might be able to bounce out more into the center. Or he might just try to let it go or play safe the way he's lining it up. Uh, it's like safe is on his mind. Or play it in and use all of the rails to get better position. Well, he played it. Oh, 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 he was lining up to see if he could miss all of those balls at the bottom, which uh, he did and he did come into contact with the nine, which changed the trajectory of where that cue ball finished. Still gives him a good angle, uh, a long shot, but he's an angle. Come back for the eight. Drilled it like it had eyes. Gives himself another good angle here. This should be this should be the rack for Billy. Oh jeez. I need to stop. I will stop saying that. Just I just cursed that. I was not expecting that to happen. <laughs> All right. I thought Billy was going to have a chance to get up on the board. Yeah, Joy, I agree. That was that was definitely brutal. I did not see that coming. All right, Tommy with an opportunity. Uh, 
and Tommy taking the lead again. That was that was a close call. A lot of these racks, it really came down to just something I think we wouldn't expect. But this could be anybody's game. Still early. Tommy needs two. Billy needs three. But they've been going back and forth. So, really hard to say what's going to happen here. I will take any predictions. I know who Joy's rooting for. Or voting for. <laughs> but... Anybody out there rooting for Billy, thinking he is going to take this down? Who's rooting for who? Billy with the break. Wow. Majority of the balls ended up on the opposite side of the table. He has such a powerful break. Joy, I completely agree. I think each of these players can, uh, they usually play a bit better. Uh, so, yeah, something funny in the air or both of them just not playing to the caliber they normally play at. They're definitely not playing bad, but both are definitely making some mistakes you don't tend to see from them. An interesting theory, Ralph. I uh, I've played on this table many times. I don't think I've ever noticed that. And their their pool table mechanic is usually very up to date. The equipment usually is pretty good. I don't tend to see that happen, but tables do change every time you play on them. So. Definitely watch to see if that continues. Tommy played safe. At least I'm pretty sure he played safe. Billy's returning with a save. And now that, that was a good save. That was nice. Doesn't give Tommy many choices to pick from. And only has one way to go about it. So you bear it down, you make it it. Got a good hit. Don't sell out. It, I mean, it, it it does. That is the same. Billy returning the same. All right. This table is not as open as all of the other ones previous to this. So, could mean a lot of chances for more safeties, or like that's what I was thinking. Tommy is calling the 10 in the corner. 110 combo. When the table is as messy as this, you kind of don't want to. It's not a fun table to play, in my opinion, unless you enjoy the moving games. Right, Tommy just needs to bear it down, stroke through. He did call it, so Billy does have an option to give it back. Which Billy does give it back. Tommy shot again. 
Yeah, Joey, I agree. I think that was the right choice to try and take it. Tommy getting out his jump cue. Well, Rafi, he still called the 10 ball, so it wouldn't have been luck. Can do an early, early 10 as long as you call it, but if you miss, like how Tommy missed and, and left it bad, then the incoming player just has an option to give it back to you. It was a nice shot by Billy. He did not get uh, <laughs> the lead that he wants. See him shaking his head. Uh, it's gonna. This is gonna be a a touchy shot. He just wants to. He's calling safe. He just wants to hit the ball just enough. Try to freeze that cue ball as close to the ball, if not hide it behind the five. Yeah, this rack is not, it is not a pretty rack. It is not pretty. Trying to see how these other matches are going. I can give you guys any other updates. Just to update you, whoever wins between Jimmy Rivera and Bean Hung, that winner is going to be battling Mike Miller for the hot seat. Oh, Tommy. Was going for a save and just did not and did not react the way he had wished. Let's see what else is going on here. All right, Carl Morgan is leading 4-0 against Roger Halder. Let's see an opportunity to make a. Oh, oh, I thought he was actually going to go for that. And, hmm, I know he's not super happy about this safe. It was not, not how he wrote it up. Uh, it doesn't also, I don't think it's a clear sellout either. I mean, Tommy has to play a return safe too. All right. Mike Soleil is leading 4-1 against Mike Krasutsky. I think those are all of the updates I have for you guys. That was a nice save by Tommy. Very nice. Right, Tommy looks like he's. Oh, I was late to mention that. All right, I. I'm not sure. I feel like I feel like these guys need to, in order for them to get into their gear, they kind of need to let loose a little bit. It's kind of hard to get into your gear when you're cons constantly playing safes. Um. 
but I mean that's how they, that's how they have to win. So the the kind of dilemma here, they're not able to really get their stroke nice and loose and comfortable because they have to keep playing safe. But I think he might be. Oh, he was going for it. Oh, oh, that's well. I was actually going to be right <laughs> in guessing that he would go for it. That's a shame. It looked like it was going to go, too. All right. Interesting spot for Billy. I don't see it going behind the seven. Hard to tell. Billy did call safe. I don't know if he can, like, go bounce off the rail and get it behind the seven and leave the cue ball up against the seven ball. Yeah, I didn't think it would go. But, I, yeah, that was not where, not where he wanted to leave it. Out in the open for Tommy. Kind of gives Tommy another chance to give a swing at it. Get loose. Right, Tommy taking his time, making sure he's 100% set on exactly how he wants to play this. I hope he just fires it in. Oh, nice. Oh, get out of the way. All right. Could be a slight shift in momentum. Just sinking that one ball and firing it in can do a lot for your morale, for your confidence. All of the other balls are pretty wide open. That's from the three to the four. Once again, if you're just joining, the four is pink. These are Dinosphere silver balls. He got a good angle for this four. I think he might just do not. Uh, I think he might just do low left. Try to hold it in that area. Or even bounce off the two rails. Just with some center outside. Or a lot of things you could do here. Oh, two rails that way. Nice speed. Perfect. Perfect. Nice position there. Just like a, not a stop, but a slight forward. Saw that a bit differently. He got perfect on it. Okay. Having some people rolling through and stopping by. Once again, we are at Bluegrass Billiards. Duck, duck, duck. And no goose. We don't want any gooses.
Yeah, I'm not trying to do any jinxes either. I'm gonna stay quiet right now. Oh, great placement. That was a nice way to get on that. I think if I tried to do that, I'd probably get it right into the side pocket. <laughs> All right, Tommy, first one to get on the hill. Leading the set, 5-3. Still could be anybody's game, but this is, I think, the biggest, this is the biggest uh, gap that uh, they have seen this match. I just got an update that Bean won, Bean <laughs> won against uh, uh, Jim Rivera, 7-4. So Bean is in the hot seat playing Mike Miller, not currently. <laughs> That'll be a very interesting. All right, Tommy with the break. I would like to see a break and run off, oh, but you have to make a ball first. Thing. Everything is out there for Billy. Be able to easily get on this too. One round. Yeah. <laughs> Keep getting a uh, so I don't I mean that eight ball looks like it could be a little troublesome of getting exactly where you want on the four to get back for the five. Unless you play it like that, I think that I think it goes. I think it goes clean. Might just deceive the eye more than anything. But should be able to make this and go two rails around. Get out for the five. Oh. Oh. Danced in that pocket. So he's going to have to force follow high left on this. Come out in the center of the table. Have the six in the side. And then be roll up a tad bit so you have an angle on the seven to get back from you. Oh, it's like he's actually going low. That is, that is one way to do it, unfortunately. I think it left him behind the nine. He might be able to see the, just the outside of the six. Thank you. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. No, any flavor. Oh, he could see it. Oh, and he got a good speed, too. Nice stroke. It's going to get... I think he got lucky. I thought it was going to end up being straight on. 
He does have a tiny bit of an angle, though. Oh, powerful. Oh, did he? Okay. Kind of stopped just enough. He's probably going to go follow up into the top rail and bounce back to the center. Well, nicely done. This way of bouncing into line a bit. And he's closing the gap. One more step. Currently 5-4. Tommy Haas leading. All right, just a reminder, just in case there's some new people who have not heard this, this is for PA Pro Am Pool. This is a 10 ball call shot, call safe tournament. Race to seven winner side, race to six lead side. This is at Bluegrass Billiards in Northeast Philly. He will be running, Frank Mileti is also going to be running a April tournament. That is going to be February 25th, a women's nine ball tournament. Oh, nice break. Women's nine ball tournament is going to be March 25th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. And I think I heard there's going to be a straight pool event in the future as well. So keep your eyes open. Uh, like and friend the PA Pro Am pool page on Facebook to keep your calendar updated on some of the Philly events that are coming. These events are going to be played on nine foot tables, just as you see here. Integrity Cues is a sponsor. If you are in need of a cue, definitely reach out to Kevin Steer. He will help you. Very knowledgeable on pretty much everything out there. And has many for you to try as well. So if you are unsure, he is the person to speak to. All right. These breaks haven't been like completely wide open. There's like small areas that like could get funny. But like the, the skill level of these guys, they should be able to get around it. It's a full house down here. A lot of the people coming out to watch and support their local players. Yeah, this two to three is a the biggest obstacle. He did get on it. Left himself the long shot on the three. Gonna have to kind of hold the cue ball down on this side so he can go from the five to the six. I don't think he's out of the woods yet, Joy. We got on the three, but this is definitely not, I think, the easy run out. He can do it. I mean, he definitely has the skill level to do it. But you can definitely feel the pressure. A lot of eyes watching, a lot of people around. Pressure is on. All right. Oh, see? Oh, that's just got a little bit too far on it. Not, not happy about this. 
too happy. I have to use the bridge here. All right. My guess is he's going to save here. Oh, I don't know. He's eyeing it up. Looks like he might actually try to cut it in. Can go, and it's going to nudge the six and hopefully not nudge it out towards the line in the pocket. Oh. Oh. Yeah, not... That was not in the game plan. Just kind of hit, hit that too full. <laughs> Good clarification, Joy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that leave on the three just left him too much of an angle to try and hold it. Just rolled it a tad bit too far. And now this. Uh, he's calling safe. I'm gonna try to kick and stick. Try to leave that cue ball behind that ten and eight. Well, he got the kick part. Definitely got the kick part. Did not stick. So, gives Tommy a shot. I don't know, he might carry him that uh, nine in the side off the six. All my pleasure, Joy. That'd be my guess, unless he's going to do a save here. But I do see the carom going. I think he's eyeing that up. This is a great opportunity for Tommy. Also, if he saves it, and if he saves it, well. Oh. Oh. Spanking it. Okay. Nice shot. Oh. Yeah, so if you are just joining, just a reminder, this is call shot, call safe. Uh, so if he did, I'm not going to, but if you call a shot and it doesn't go in and it gets left funny, the incoming player has option to give it back. So you have to choose. Are you going to go for it or are you going to play safe? No two-way shots in this. All right, Tommy just trying to get a nice comfortable position for this. The eight is in a funny place. Uh, might have to try to nudge that out to give himself an easier run out because I don't see that eight ball going anywhere. I mean, it could go in the corner. It would just be hard to get on it from where that seven was. And that was beautifully done. Let's just see. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you could go around this. Could go one, two, three rails to come out for the nine. Be my guess of what he's going to do.
just kind of not looking super confident or super happy about this leave. It could be worse. It could be way worse. I, I definitely can see him doing this. Taking his time. This is a big rack. Very important game right here. Difference between winning and causing a more pressure situation. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. Held it so he can put the nine in the same pocket. Just roll forward. Oh, okay. Or hit it like that. That worked out well. Just like Raph said earlier, it's very interesting to see how different people will play the same thing. <laughs> and that is it. Tommy164 moves on. That, unfortunately, was Billy's last game for today. <laughs> All right, and we will be back for our next match coming up soon.
<laughs> All right. I'm back. Tommy is playing Tyler Henninger. Leading 1-0. It's again 10 ball, call shot, call safe. I think this is Tyler's first match on the stream table. That did not come up. Did not get up enough for this nine ball. He's feeling, uh, he's feeling really good. You could bank it cross side or play safe. Oh, oh, just, just hit the corner. <laughs> Thank you. And that's good. All is good. All is good. Oh, good. I drop. I drop. Yeah. So, not the easiest cut here, especially if you haven't gotten adjusted to the table. The table isn't different at all. The last two players just seem to struggle a tiny bit with speed. Great shot by Tyler. And he made it one one. <clears throat> Once again, we are at Bluegrass Billiards in Northeast Philly. I think there is 10 players left, so still plenty of pool to watch. If you are interested and want to see it in person, come on down. Mike Soleil is currently playing Carl Morgan. They are not using online scoring, I don't think. All right, break is not completely wide open. He, Tyler called a C. Wow, how that rolled, right? That eight just made it that much harder to get on that one. I mean, I don't think he would go on that corner anyway. So I think Tommy is playing on doing a two rail kick coming off the far long rail. Luckily that eight didn't, uh, Hinder that plan. Oh. Oh, just slip past it.
Thank you for the share, Timothy. Very handy. If you would like to take a look at the bracket, Timothy just shared it in the comments section. You can see the matches that are going on, the matches coming up. And hopefully their current score. You guys do not want to look at the bracket. I'm going to try to keep you updated on what's going on if I can. Not bad. Yeah, not, not bad. Kept the cue ball behind the 10. Tommy's going to have to kick this again. Uh, hopefully it will land this time. He just went a tad bit too far on the last kick. He did call safe. Another two rail, just going the opposite way. Ah, oh, that one, uh, yeah, that one, not, not there either. So I think Tommy is on two now. Tommy just needs to breathe and get back into scary right this gives an opportunity for Tyler to make an impression on this rack everything looks fairly open four or five are really the only, it's not even an issue. There's definitely ways that you can get around that. Yeah. There's a lot of things, I mean. Well, I mean, the 4-5. No, I don't like the 4-5 combo, but I don't, I don't. Oh, oh. Well. I think that I think that worked out nicely for him. He could either play it in the corner, I don't or in the side or safe. And he liked the safe option. He Tommy is on two. It just let him know that. So Tommy must hit this. They are doing a three foul rule. Three consecutive fouls in a row, and you lose the rack. I have Mr. Scott <laughs> Mr. Scott Haas is sitting next to me. Trying to point out things that he would do. Yeah. Looks like another two rail shot. All right. All right. Nice kick safe. <laughs> so that was a nice return. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ralph, he's had some really nice things to say about you. <laughs> Uh, all right, Tyler back at the table. Seems like this, this rack could be over shortly. Uh, funny positioning on this. 
I thought, I guess I looked at it, the screen differently. Of two very different angles from where we're sitting on the looking at the table. This looks this looks pretty good for Tyler. Two rails out. I know. Yeah, we oh, held our breath on that cue ball there for a second. Tyler taking the lead, 2-1. Yes. Okay. And who are we? I've had a few. I don't want to make too much of them. I'm, I'm good. I'm functional to like quarters of the I'm about there. <laughs> Getting them non functional. Oh, so we shouldn't let you near this all. Oh, I think. <laughs> I, okay. All right. All right. Let me try to get back here. Nope. It's fine. No. I'm not even. <laughs> okay. Tommy coming to the table. He has a wide open opportunity here. Uh, see what happens. What? Was it? What was it? Stop. Stop. You won't be allowed to sit here. Oh, Tommy had a good opportunity. No. Back in the day, his pinky nail was black. All right. I... I don't even know how he got... out of this situation. Trying to keep... <laughs> he heard you. <laughs> If it's black, it's gangrene. Oh my goodness, we're changing the topic. Okay, I'm. So I'm. My apologies, everyone. I'm gonna try my best to focus here, and keep this stream going. All right, Tommy on the four. The 
you are just joining it is call shot call safe it's on the b side so it's race to six and now i'm not giving him a mic we only have one functioning mic so he got some enjoyment out of that though All right. Looks like this is going to be a possibility of being a back and forth type match. Two equally strong plays. Except five left. Outside your freaking board in. Oh, Tommy followed it up and put some good amount of inside to get straight in on this 10, make it really easy for himself. And just like that, it is 2-2. Two, two. I made a break. This is an alternate break format. Oh, it's a shame you didn't make a ball. Because this has to be, I think, one of the more open or nice, nicer breaks. Mike Miller is going to be playing Bean. I can find out for you. Probably won't be for a little bit because that is the hot seat match. I think there's some other matches that need to happen before that, but I will double check for you, Austin. All right, Austin, looks like uh, it should be about an hour or so before Mike Miller and Bean play. Nice shot by Tyler. Comes around to get position on the five. Seven is kind of... Not super in the way of blocking the six, but especially because he's kind of straight in on the five. He needs to stun it out a little or the following. Yeah. 
Uh, if I would guess Austin, yes, that would that will be on the stream. Yes. All right, well, he got back for the seven. This, I'm going to be interested to see how he gets, not just on the eight, but it seems like he has to get on the, the short side of the eight so he can get up on the nine. And I guess it's going to be a power draw from this position. It's like that's what he might be setting up to do. Yep. Oh, no. Did it? Oh, gosh. I think he just made it. He got, he got close to making this a sticky situation, but he made it work. Nice play to get on the nine. He rails out to the center. Or... Not the center, but and Tyler. Yes, those were some impressive shots. Tyler Greek. Ah. Oh. Unfortunate scratch. The score on Carl and Mike. I <laughs> I wish I could give it to you. I don't believe they are using the online scoring. And I can't quite see the beads on top of the table over there. Oh, it is 4-1. Mike Soleil is leading 4-1 against... Wait a second. Wait a second. That's not, that's not right. Just kidding. Look to be five. Carl. Five one. I don't know who's. I can see Carl up top. Five one. That five. All right. It looks like. We, if we are guessing correctly, Carl is up 5 4 on Mike Slay. Carl's up 5 1. Oh, just kidding. Now it's 5 1. <laughs> From what we can see over here, I think it's 5 1. Carl is on the hill.
Yes, Tim, that is the, that is our educated guess. All right. The night is just getting more and more interesting as it goes on. Let's see if Tommy can seal the deal here. Thank you, Ernest. Took some finagling all day, but we had the lovely Mrs. Myletti run home and get a different microphone. So that way you guys could have some company. All right. Tommy, I don't think wanted to be over there. But squeezes it in. Bumps the eight. Comes out enough to get an angle. All right, very important shot here. Nicely played. Comes out perfectly. I think he has perfect position on this now. All right, let's see. Nice. Oh, did it get straight? Mm, I think he has enough of an angle to make something work here. Two rail force follow. High right. Oh. Or just nice and simple. On rail. Good speed. Oh. Oh, man. That, that, that is rough. Not see that one coming. Been a long day. Don't. Oh my god, there. Uh, long day. Uh -oh. These are the moments sometimes it shows. Oh. Oh, jeez. Man. Oh. <laughs> jeez. I wasn't expecting one for one of the, any of these players to miss, but for both of them to miss, I'm 
actually pretty surprised by that. And uh, Ernest, I believe there's uh, 10 players left. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the way that danced. I don't want to hear it. All right, that was enough to make it 3-3. Three, three. That was a nail-biter of a wreck there. Oh, at least it didn't hang there. It wasn't the prettiest 10-ball shot, but it did land. Yes, it is starting to get late. But, there's a chance we could do this, get it done. I don't know if I'll be commentating the rest of the don't night, but... The old man. Yeah, yeah, Ralph, if you can, like, help my job be a little bit easier. <laughs> I don't want to have to keep battling Scott over the computer to make sure he doesn't mess up anything. And yes, stamina. It is a stamina contest right now. A lot of yawning. A lot of uh, tired eyes. Ernest, I don't... I don't know. Um, I think they're going to try to pull it off and finish it tonight. All right. All right, Carl Morgan won against Mike Soleil, six to three. Carl advances to the next round. Mike finishes seventh, eighth. So we might be just under, just under eight players. You are right, Timothy. Our goal is to finish it tonight. Tommy with a tester shot, a bit of distance here. Swish. That was beautiful. Great shot. Perfect speed. Has the four ball next. Followed by the six up on the short rail. I think it might just be a tad bit straight for him to easily get on the six. So he's just taking a second look at it. Making sure he gets the right angle. Next match to follow, if you want to watch the bracket, 
going to be Jimmy Rivera against Carl Morgan. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it, it did get up for the six. Uh, fortunately, bumped that nine in the way. Looks like he might be hooked on the corner there. Was debating on if he could mass a around it or or jump. He's going to get his jump cue now. Wow. Wow. Nice shot. Nice shot, Tommy. It's on the edge of my seat, hoping that cue ball came out for him. That was a nice way to get out of that sticky situation. All right, big moment right now. As long as he just keeps this composure. And with authority, he fired that in. With authority. And Tommy takes the lead, 4-3. Oh, my goodness. Tyler with the break. Leaves the cue ball in a funny position. They do allow push out. Going to need some rope in order to keep uh, Mr. House here off the keyboard, I think. All right, let's see.
You're two rounds already. So just eight. Thank you. It's like Tommy might be looking to put it down the down the rail. <laughs> oh, did I not see the one? I didn't. I thought it was the three ball. Okay. My eyes are even failing. Give credit to these guys. They're still shooting lights out. Oh, does he have to? Is he jumping this? That was. I guess he was kind of stuck behind there. Now he has the five, six, seven, eight. Him being in front of this nine ball will make it a little bit harder for him to get the good position on the six. And it's going to be, yes, him reaching. It's just now feeling super comfortable with this. It's a tricky, tricky spot to be in. I think he's committed to a shot. Oh. Well, he did commit to it. It just did not hit the right spot on that ball. All right, Tyler with the cut shot also didn't get quite exactly where he wanted position wise. See how he's going to handle not just making the ball, but keeping the cue ball on the table. 
I'm just controlled. Oh, my goodness. He got back on the seven nicely, but uh, just hit the point. Danced around and got back on the rail. Good news is this doesn't leave to, uh, Tommy an easy shot. Tommy trying to go for a safe and just didn't get the speed quite right for that. Is Tyler going to take advantage? Slunk the six, got up for the seven. I think the eight to the nine might be the trickiest shot in this rack. I think that's what he's really trying to nail down is exactly where does he want to be for the eight. So then I wouldn't even say it's like easy to get on the nine. It's not going to be easy. It's going to need a power stroke of some sort. You definitely don't want to be straight on the eight though. At least I certainly wouldn't. <laughs> Well, that, if you're going to get straight on the eight, that's a great way to get out of it. Nice stroke. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Wow. Nail biter. Let's get the bridge for this. Definitely not where he wanted to leave the cue ball. Oh, geez. You know, he kind of hit the same spot on the nine ball. The nine ball dropped in, though. This, this just hung right up. Tommy leading. 5-3.
And Tommy's break. Yeah, don't have to have brutal once again. That that's a rough way to lose a rack. Now this was very wide open break. Thing about it looks nice. Does he get up? Looks like he has the three in the side. <laughs> I started fighting. Tyler. Has a pretty open table here. Trying to make up for what happened on the last rack. Oh, he got, I thought it was going to bounce off that long rail with a little bit more spin to kind of curve it towards that nine. Kind of just straightened out. I don't think he's going to go for this. Oh, he is. Excuse me, he's calling it in the corner. Oh, how he hit it. That was nice. Very nice. And has position. Great way to make up for last rack. Currently 5-4, Tommy leading. No. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Tyler breaking. Made the three in the corner. I think I saw him mention something about a push.
um, did call a push, and he pushed the two ball off onto the long rail. Tommy does have a pretty open shot for the one. Do you think he is going to go for this? Should get naturally back on the two. Or, no? Think it was playing safe? Not, not bad. I, I think he did hide Tyler successfully. Tyler doesn't seem too faced. He might actually have a, have a glimpse of it. I think it does. Oh, he got a clean hit. Oh, I think he gave Tommy a clean hit back. This is a big game right here. Difference between one person going home. Or, yeah. Difference between one person going home and... Making a hill hill thriller. Hi, Freddy. It's a nice save by Tommy. Yes, Freddy, I am definitely looking forward to sleeping really good tonight. Let's see how he gets on it. Oh, 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 does he hit a ball in hand? Ah, uh, I thought that's, that is a shame. Thanks, Bob. Uh, we had Mindy Miletti run to the house and get a different mic, so unfortunately only one of us can commentate at a time. But we did get something going. Oh, yes. Freddie, no way. I'm doing a rematch tonight. Let's see if we have any updates on what's going on elsewhere. I you know Carl Morgan is playing Jimmy. Rivera. I don't see a score online. So, must be keeping track with beats. All right, back to our match. Tommy got ball in hand. Roll it forward a bit. For two in the corner. Oh, doing it slightly different. I'm gonna stop it right there. All right, the tricky, I think the most tricky thing here is going to be the seven and the eight. Seven has no pocket to go to. So his best bet is to get on the five and play safe. Is my guess. Because this does not, at seven, and I don't see how he's going to break it out either. The six, actually, six could help get it out. 
But I think he does have a good opportunity to do a good save here. Oh. Well, that's why, unless he played safe right now. Oh. Yeah, I guess there's a few different times that we could uh, do a safe here. So, Scott Haas was saying. Or bank the 7 eight combo cross corner. Ah, that's super risky. Especially for like this where they are in the rat in the in the set. How the balls have been like bobbling in the corners. I don't know. I don't know if I'd risk that. But a safe is definitely in the future. Unless he does a breakout shot here. Raph, have you seen how many balls rattled in the pocket? <laughs> oh, nice. All right. That, that will help. That'll make a difference. I think a lot of these players just would prefer not to lose. Whether it's on a safe or not. He found a way to get out. Without doing the safe and without doing the combo bank, so. That's a very nice... Way to break out the seven and the eight and get position. Well done. Well done. And Tommy wins it. Six four. Good game, Tommy. Good game. I, I, I won't lie. I was stressed.
card and, and like two more drinks or and and why do I feel like this isn't on? Can you guys hear me? I think it is on. Oops. We have Mike Miller playing being hung for the hot seat. Thank you, Ernest. All right, Mike got the first break. Okay. We're drunk. They really. We're glad you like it. Thank you guys for tuning in. We are at Bluegrass Billiards for the PA Pro Am Pool 10 ball. 10 ball event. Call shot, call safe. This is going to be a race to seven as they are in the hot seat. So let me quick fix that. All right. And it begins. I believe that was the save. Uh, Steve, this is the hot seat match. Hi, Bethany. You should be here. I don't know what the right way was. I don't believe in a wrong way. <laughs> Not for this. Gone up. I went down. All right. I didn't touch <laughs> All right, okay, we're trying to get, we're going to get back to focusing here. Uh, There's boundaries. Being it just always amazes me when she plays. Her runouts, her positions.
she shoots every shot with authority. And she just has a great stroke. She just does these shots so effortlessly. Uh, seems effortless. This is going to be a good match right here. This is going to be a good match. And Bean takes the lead. There wasn't even much for me to say there. No, I'm good, thank you. Beating 1-0. Did it just come up? Oh, here. All right, on to the next rack. Being with a very solid break, just like all day. Very nice shot. Just lining up where she wants to be for that five ball and draw back to inch or two. Looks like she does have some angle. She's going to put some left on it, come over to the long rail. Gonna try to get that eight in the side. I think that's what she lined up. Okay. 
Oh, just didn't quite get all the way there, but it will still work for her. So she went in the corner. Put the nine in the opposite corner. And I Oh, did she, Tim? That's impressive. She's up to a. Uh... All right, Mike gets the break. Beans matches always take so fast. She just comes in, gets the work done. Move on. <laughs> All right, let's see what Mike will do here. It's a very open table. All right. I don't really don't think that five can squeeze past the eight into the side, but there's a possibility. Bethany, I completely agree. <laughs> she is a beast. At the least. She is a great person to look up to and and watch. Watch her shoot. Mm. I was wrong. That does go in the side clean. Talk about shooting with authority. He fired that ball in. So he could get back for the sixth there. I think he's going to play a safe here. I don't know if he wants to actually go for it. Oh, he is going for it. That was a nice shot. Sorry, I spoke that too soon. Unfortunately, I don't think he got quite where he wanted with the cue ball. It's going to leave him another tricky, tricky shot.
Nope, he called the safe. Very nice. Looks like uh, Bean is getting her jump cue. Wow. Well, she definitely got a good hit. Did not make it. It is Billy's... Billy. Oh. <laughs> it is Mike's uh, option to shoot it or give it back. It's like he is going to go for it. Wow, it's like I blinked and I looked up and the rack is over. Mike getting on the board. 2-1. No. I mean, I'm like pretty, I'm like 90% positive Bean is up 2-1. We'll see after this rack, but pretty sure I got that right. Oh, Bethany Frank says hello. What? I know. I know. Oh, no. It is the gets later. We are... <laughs> Slowly questioning if we see things correctly. <laughs> All right. Aiming up for the one. It's. Oh, thank you, Ernest. Uh, Tim, the. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind. Carl is up four to two, Tim. And Carl is playing Brandon's. No. Carl is playing Jimmy, right? Carl Yeah. I. You are very welcome. <laughs> I should have been in bed a long time ago, but I am trying to stick around as long as I can. 
Can she see this? She can. She was trying to get a good safe on it. It did. Well, I think he. I think she got a window. Is it? Back home. For some reason, I don't think you would be. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, so I think I think Mike did get a window. <laughs> oh, he could see it, but he just didn't hit it quite right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think it's been long enough. All right. So, I don't know. I missed this shot, so. Not quite sure if that was the safe. Or a miss. Let's see. Well, I don't think that's quite how he wanted on the two. At all. Come out to the other long rail and bounce back. Wow, it got on there. Sorry, I said that too soon. <laughs> I know, the way that it bounced back, like, that was... I didn't see that coming. He had the right amount of... Had the right amount of English on that to kind of curve it. React off that long rail. Hey, you can tell Mike is catching a rhythm. Mm. That ball dance going in. Seven, huh? Seven looks like it goes in the corner, and in either corner, but I think it goes easier in the one in between the eight and the ten. Just seemed like the eight is kind of in the way of possibly hitting the seven fully, depending on how he would have gotten on it. I don't, I don't understand what that meant. I, oh. It does look like he's putting inside on it. Or, oh, interesting. That was a, I did not see that kind, I did not see that coming. Well, I do, I do not think we're going to be disappointed at all in this match. Two very strong players. And both of them are giving their all. Oh. 
Oh, only he had gone a tiny bit further, it would have made this easier. Ah. Yeah. Oh, painful. Oh, it's just painful to see that. I'm not gonna. No. Why? So cool. All right. Even though it bounced out like that, I think. Uh, the miss isn't too bad. It's a difficult cut shot. This is going to just get worse and worse. Moment of truth. Oh, geez. Wow, that's two matches back to back that one player bobbled it. And the following incoming player bobbled it too. That was a nice attempt by Beam. That I definitely looked like it was going in on my at my seat. Just like that, it is 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I thought so. That's not three enough. Table four is four two. Four three. Trying to get some score updates for you guys. If I don't flirt with you, I'll take this. I already know, baby. I'm going to take it down. Where you want to go? Ah, oh, thank you for that, Jimmy. Jimmy is up on Carl now, four three, huh? Oh yes, Mike is. You can tell Mike is getting uh nice and loose, even in the past few shots. He's caught a rhythm. <laughs> so, nobody, <laughs> I never knew that was the correct way to say your name. Pause. Not Haas. Pause. Pause. Pennsylvania, Dutch. All right. No sense. So, rumors are going around that. Brandon might be up 3-0 on Tommy Hawes. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Mike has a good opportunity here. 
Good opportunity. Huh. Okay. Follow this up off the rail. Natural English on the three. Like, definitely, wow, that position. Very nicely done. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, I was trying so hard to hold that in. Oh, I have to remember there's a delay on this. That was painful. That was definitely painful. I think it hurts all of us. We all know what it's like to do that. All do all the work and leave two balls. It's a shame. The way Bean stays down in her shot is just... And Bean takes lead. Three, two. You got to give props to these guys. Been here all day. And very tough field. And today, some very strong players came out. Some of the best are still here. What? <laughs> All right, unfortunately, Bean did a very strong break, but cue ball found his way into a pocket. So Mike has an opportunity to settle the score here, make up for the last wreck. Wow. So he was calling the two. So since this is a call shot, call safe. He called the two and the eight ball went in. That is Bean's choice. He's clearly going to go for that. Uh, very nicely on the five. She could probably do a slight follow or even kind of draw it over, maybe. Perfect.
Oh, is that what happened, Joy, with the two ball? Yeah, it didn't look like it went in over here. She got on that six so nicely. This. I don't want to say it, but. This could be a big game. Big shot right here. And Bean takes a two game lead, four to two against Mike. Get a quick. I will be right back.
And I'm back. Looks like I didn't miss too much. Oh, is that going to come out enough? Oh, I need the bridge for this. Oh, she didn't need a bridge. Oh. Didn't realize she could reach that. Wow. What a nice bump. You think? I don't know. I think that worked out perfectly. Nice clean stroke for this. Perfectly done. This. Looks like she's trying to put the nine in the side pocket where the cue ball is. Great. Great position. Although I think she's going to have to Hit the top rail. Kind of come up and down. I was wrong. <laughs> she did not need to do that. Just rolled it forward. Great position on the 10. And she sinks it in to take a three game lead. It's now five to two in a race to seven. All right, I think right now uh, it's three to two. I think Brandon Slazalis is taking, has had that lead. But it looks like Tommy is coming back. Being with a good break. Sunk the one ball. Has a good shot on the two. Oh, goodness. Is she going to do a 210? 210 combo right here? Uh -huh. You guessed wrong. She went for the 210. She did gobble that out of the pocket and sent it towards the other corner.
I wear my gummy worm is So with that ten in the other corner now, and it's like in that corner too. I feel like he's kind of looking at to see if he could do either a two ten combo or a good safe. Safe it is. <laughs> and now Brandon says Alice and Tommy Hawes is three three. Carl, Carl and Jimmy, let me see if I can get an update on that. Just a bit of scrolling here. All right. And interesting, she can't call two balls at once. Looks like she's going for the three. Fired it in. Got around. Four rails. Looks like uh, on the Jimmy and Carl match, I think it might be 5-3. That wasn't a big difference from a moment ago. It might be 5-4. All right. Bean kind of has, it's not super straight at all, but to get on the 5, I think it has a possibility of running into the 8 and 9, so we'll see what she does here. Oh. Okay. So she's followed it up a little bit. Looks like she might be going for this combo. Might be going for the 10 now. It's not, I, I just didn't get, I don't think she's super happy about something, but. And she fired that in. That was a nice shot, Bean. Currently leading 6-2. Ouch. That was, that was a well-played rack. They both had an opportunity. And I think his safe just did not, it did not hide her well enough. And she was able to take advantage Run a few balls and get to a point she could go for the combo. Like with the break. Made the four. Oh, thought that three was going to drop as well. Chose to stay up. Uh -oh. 
I don't think he's going to be really offensive right now. I think he might actually go for a save. Tricky situation right here of what to do. Oh, so he went for the three. Oh, he went for the three and he ball followed it in. Oh, man. You can tell he's trying so hard to get things under, under control. It's just not rolling in his favor right now. Keep me warm. Ah. No, no. Said no, keep me warm. <laughs> All right. All seem pretty, pretty open. Both of these players, when they broke, they really spread them. <laughs> You know, I don't know how old she is. No, she's number 10 in the world, so. She opted for a safe. Uh, that 10 ball does have to make him shoot over it. So, but he does see the five. Hmm, nice return safe. She can see it as well. Will do, Chris. Frank is sitting right next to me. Chris oh, says howdy from New Hampshire. He says hello. Uh-huh. I hear you are a streamer yourself. That's a nice... Kind of put the pressure back on Mike here. Oh, that was a good, uh, I liked his idea. If only it like really squeezed behind the eight without bumping it. Would have been really nice.
Oh, that's great to hear. Yes, there is going to be a, uh, in addition to the other tournaments I mentioned, there is going to be a pre-expo tournament. I believe it's going to be the day before and the day after, if I'm not mistaken. Everything from the expo. I agree, Chris. Well, good hit. It's a good hit. Oh, gosh, I didn't see how it lined up. <laughs> I did not notice that. Oh, nice. Very nice, Chris. Yes, it's a very, very big room. Can ac accommodate a lot of people. All right, Mike has a big chance right here. Gain some control over this, this rack, which is very important for him. He is stroking with confidence. That has not wavered, so always a good thing to do. Oh, jeez. That, oh, it's what, what a shame. Oh. Yeah, he's been, I think he's just also getting tired, uh, kind of rushed it. I think I heard him say earlier how he was rushing. That's a shame. He is uh, definitely playing good. And Bean takes it to win 7-2, which means Mike is going to be going over to the B side. All right, so Bean is officially in the hot seat. So just to give a quick update before I take a break, Tommy Haas, Tommy Haas is playing Brandon Cezales, I believe. I do not know the score on that right now. The winner of that is going to be playing Sean Bogutsky. <laughs> And let's see, Carl Morgan and Jimmy Rivera, Rivera are still currently playing, I guess. Are they? No, it looks like they're done. Carl and uh, Jimmy are done. Oh, Jimmy won that. Jimmy won six to four, so... I believe the only match we are waiting for is Tommy and Brandon to be over, and the winner of that is going to be moving on to play Sean. And then... And the winner of that will then play Jimmy. And more fun to continue. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Oh, you
All right, here we go. To the wee hours of the night, we'll be here, folks. For those of you who don't know who I am, Frank Mileletti, the tournament director. This match, we got Brandon Slozalis. He's a 697 Fargo. Sean Bogutsky, he's a 677 Fargo. This tournament, that means absolutely nothing because we play even around here. by Brandon. Just a little tough stroke there. Back with some coffee. A little one, maybe two rails draw. Do nothing, Brandon. Hey, somebody let me know if they can hear the background music.
Go on, call and save. Except by Brandon. Left him a shot, though. Hello, hello, hello. Took a quick break to get up and walk a bit. See, Brandon's up 2 0 currently. Um, okay. 
Definitely gave Sean gave a distance safe. Just get far away and hope to leave the cue ball on the rail. Which he did. The ball is on the rail. Let's see how Brandon returns this. Well, he was trying to kick it. I'm not sure if he called that or called it safe. Either way, Sean couldn't take that clean. Goes clean. That six looks a little bit messy now, though. Six, they're not going to, it's going to have to play safe on the six. And that's exactly what he did. And trying that distance safe again. Didn't leave him quite on the rail. And hit more of this ball. He can actually hit this ball full. I think Brandon's going to do a safe in return. He could probably do a carom and make the eight, but probably not the safest. And that was a nice play. However, I don't think it, it got far enough behind me. Sean might be able to see a sliver. Oh. Interesting moment there. I think he was going for the... That's interesting. It looked like he was going for that shot. Maybe he... Or maybe Brandon just chose to take it. For those of you tuning in tonight, thank you. It has been a long day of pool, so we appreciate you spending your time with us. We're at Bluegrass Billiards. But all funny on. Oh, all right. Brandon taking another game under the belt. It's for you. I always find in this situation, if you're in Sean's position and having to sit and wait for a while, because I think he's been waiting for a while now uh, for the rest of the bracket to catch up. That can be like one of the hardest ones when your opponent is is uh is battling and playing a few matches before they get to you. And then they're so used to competing and they're, you know, stroking well and because uh, they had to be stroking well most likely in order to make it to you anyway. So oh, I feel Sean right now. And it's still early. He could still turn it around, though. Brandon did scratch on the break. Oh. 
has a ball in for Sean, so this is a good opportunity to take advantage. The one and the seven is tied up, so the one does not go clean anyway. So he's going to try to freeze the cue ball behind the seven. Send the one ball up to the opposite short rail. Didn't get the freeze, but he did stop the ball, and and the the one is is up the table. It's like Brandon's just trying to hit the same spot on the rail that he did. Chances are you're gonna get a good hit if you do that. Oh my goodness, I'm actually surprised that that didn't hit it. Looked like it was gonna look like it was going straight forward. I think this puts Brandon on three, or sorry, on two. Now, in order for that rule to be in effect, because it is a three foul rule, in order for that to be in effect, Sean does have to tell him that he is on two. Which I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, well, I didn't see him tell him. So either he's not on two or he forgot. Can't remember. I... That's a wake at the moment. But at this point, it doesn't matter anymore. Four, five. That's a nice, nice move there. That's on the five perf. I'll just have to draw a tinge back for the six. Or stun it over to the long rail. Bounce out. This you might draw. I think it does go past the 10. It's a little bit tight to get past the 10, but it should definitely go. I think the more difficult part is how to get on the 8 nicely from this angle. Okay. It's a great way of doing it. That works out really well. Nicely done. Oh, and he was now leading four zero. On with the break. Has a nice shot on the one. Oh, wow. That was cool how he uh, finagled through that three eight ball. Actually, really smooth. Wow, firing, firing away. Uh, wait, hit the point there. 
kind of worked against him. So we're going to get the side pocket. That was nice and smooth stroke. And we're right in. Lately. All right, this looks like a good opportunity for Sean here. To turn the momentum a little. This has to keep this whole rack. Okay. Did this back pretty flawlessly. Shot with confidence, nothing, nothing questionable. Great out, great out by Sean. Oh, in case you didn't tune in earlier or missed it, there's going to be an 8-ball event by Frank Mileti and PA Pro-Am Pool. Uh, the 8-ball event is going to be February 25th. In March, it's going to be a women's 9-ball event. And then there's also going to be an event, a pre-expo event, I think, the day before the expo. Uh, as well as a straight pool event coming in the future, too. So keep your eyes open for those. Put them on your calendar. Get signed up. Didn't see the payouts today. They were outrageous. I, this is, this was quite a payout. I think first place, if they got themselves in the Calcutta, is going to walk with about $4,500. And that, that is, uh, that's big. So that is quite a good, quite a good first event of the year for a pro-am, PA pro-am pool. Two rails. Oh, bump, bump, bump. An interesting place. Or if he's going to ride it down the rail or try to tuck it behind the 9 and 10 and play safe. Whoa. What in the world? <laughs> I wish I had a replay on that. I want to see that again. I don't know what that was. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank
I definitely something. Don't know how Brandon's back up at the table. But I don't foresee any issues here. You should just call this nine ball. Both of them are getting on the ten ball so easily, they're just like, nope, moving on. Nine ball, call shot, call safe. <laughs> And just like that, Brandon is on the hill. 5 1. Right, I think that was Sean's break. Oh, jeez. Oh, I guess he didn't call that. I guess he did call that. That would have been crazy if he called that shot. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have. One ball is just so perfectly wide open for him. With the in its own little bubble. Okay. That could definitely work in his favor. That is how you make it work in your favor. Nice shot. Yeah, this is a trick spot to get out of. I don't know if he's going to go one reel or two. I mean, he... I highly doubt he's called a shot. I'm trying to think of a good... Officially called safe. <clears throat> this is a call shot, call safe event. Hmm.
ଆଉ